Okay, as you might have seen from my previous video, um, the Brotherhood of Steel's uh, ship, the Pridwin, is here. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go up with Paladin Dan, or not Paladin Dan, whatever his name is. Um, I just had that one detective with me, and I guess because I was said I was impressed about uh, the amount of firepower they had, he uh, left me. So. Yeah, the companions have a uh, sort of telltale game system where uh, they listen to what you say and they might not like it. So we're going to go out here because, um, doo -doo -doo. yeah, they said we we're going to go for a, uh, a ride and see the uh, ship up close. And yeah, it was Paladin, it was Paladin Dance, excuse me. Holy shit. Hello? Okay. Let's get going. Ho ho ho. Oh, he's right here on the ship with me. You know, airborne. Um, if you want to know how far I am in the story right now, I... I just found the guy who stole your son, um, and I, I, I hope this doesn't spell anything for anybody, but I, uh, I killed him. <laughs> you're, you're supposed to. Uh, your son isn't there, and he's a lot older than you thought, and he's at, he's at the Institute, basically. I'm pretty sure that building I was just aiming at, not this one, but the, I think I'll be able to aim at it again. The, not the the skyscraper up ahead. I'm pretty sure that's where the institute is, if I remember correctly from the uh, people who figured out how big the map was gonna be. So now we're just waiting to go up there, and uh, yeah. I'm on PlayStation 4. How do they expect me to see any enemies that far away? Can barely render shit from this distance. though. Look at that. Jesus. Oh, it's got thrusters on it. I remember seeing that in a screenshot. Who's up there? I haven't seen that place yet, so yeah. Come on. Um, while, while we're being quiet here, I would like to say I am really enjoying this game so far. I've been super hyped for it. Um, but in all, in all honesty, it feels like a, uh, it feels like an open world, uh, it feels like an open world version of, um, Metro Last Light, if you've ever played that. I'll be honest, it does feel like that. Without the whole, uh. It has the 50s feel, obviously, and we're in a completely different location. All that stuff. So, uh, once we get aboard, I'm gonna end this video here. I figured I'd just show you guys what it's like to uh, get on board. So obviously now we're ascending.
I got my uh, tablet running the Pip Boy app over here, so I'm going to use some uh, stim packs. He almost ran off. How do I get out? There we go. Yeah, uh, so we got the Pip Boy app here on my tablet next to me. Going to use some stim packs. A second here, if I can get to him. And then uh, I think my house should be good. All right, let's see what this guy has to say, and then we're gonna. Oh, you can take. You can take those and then go down. Cool. Yes, sir. This outfit looks pretty cool. I do like the power armor, but I'll be honest, I do like Fallout of the past uh, 3D Fallout games. Uh, I like their version better. I don't like the uh, big bulkiness of it. Ad Victorium. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, this is the Pridwin. If I, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that correctly. Oh. Okay, so I guess I gotta talk to this guy. I'll see you guys later.